Uh, speaking of uh, things that uh, is not going to make a billion dollars, Villain, Venom 3. Oh, i yes. not a big fan of the Venom films. I'm really not. I didn't uh, even know this was the third one. Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, I, did I can, they release I can, two films? <laughs> I, can watch, I can watch the first one. The second one is just like, why? Like, you bring Carnage in, and actually you don't make him be Carnage. Like, car- I don't- Carnage is a Venom in general. It was so good. Oh, jeez. Um, but Venom is such a brutal character. And when you put a PG-13 label on it, it's like, oh, okay, wishy-washy. Kills off screen. And even in this trailer, you can see it um, where, like, uh, Venom takes, like, hit- bites out of each get like head. It's stupid. It's like there's no blood or anything. It's just like a clean bite. And it's like, what it, it's like, and it makes this makes me even more mad. Craven, that's coming out later now in December and not in August. Um, that that is radar. And it's like, so you're so you weren't afraid to do a radar film, but you choose Craven to do to be radar and not Venom. What see, don't ask questions. See, Austin, if I've learned oh. anything, it's that nothing makes sense. All I know is that Tom Hardy is coming back for this movie. If I'm him, I'm going to keep milking these movies and keep making He says money. that this is his last one. So, And even um, the title is called The Last Dance. I just want to point out, though, if Tom Hardy got like a huge pay raise, he'd probably come back for another one. And another I, one. I mean, yeah, money talks. It's, like if yeah, I, Let's say if this I movie mean, even makes a billion dollars and, or two billion dollars, of course they'll do another one. Um, and they will yeah. even throw Tom Hardy like, in there. They'll be like Venom's last, last, last dance. Yeah, you know, the Samba or something, and then you know how they're gonna do it. Yeah, or they're gonna they're gonna do a crossover between Venom and um, uh, Fast and Furious, and be like Fast and Furious: The Last Dance, Fury, Venom, Carnage, and last then Venom. They're gonna see who can be in more movies. Vin Diesel, Fat- Tom Hardy, Fast Venom, Fur- Furious Venom, Venom Furious. Um, I don't know. I mean, the trailer is fine, I guess. Have you have you watched the trailer? I did, and I hated it. I'm sorry. Yeah. I try and not be a hater, but Venom has not has not caught my eye. The first one, you were right, was okay. Yeah. But when I go see a movie like Venom, I want to see really good. I, I expect violence. I expect heads to be ch- and blood spearing everywhere. Um, no, that's the acolyte where they. Uh, <laughs> Chopped off people's heads, and, but hide it with a tree and don't show it. That's oh, oh. yeah. I uh, mean, I mean, hey, eh. I'll say about episode five, and we'll get more into it later. Um, episode five is easily the best episode. So, um, but that's not saying much. That's not uh, saying much. <laughs> Jinx. But the uh. the biggest controversy though is the whole. Uh, uh, I don't know. Is it really a bar? The whole like you know at the end of Spider Man, um, No Way Home, Venom was in um you know, the MCU and oh on the the beach warped. or something right? Well, you that was uh that was the Venom post credit scene, but in Spider Man No Way Home, he was talking to this guy like at this drink place or whatever, and next he gets warped back to his reality, and next we see a little glimpse of like a symbiote game being left behind, and in this trailer oh, yeah. we're shown by this dude who's capturing this piece of venom and it's like wait did they just retcon their own post credit scene oh 100 percent. i mean or are, are, are these are, are these military guys try uh like you know traveler travelers between the universe because that would be the bus best exposition for anything you mean like a tva type event where yeah. they try and eliminate yeah i mean here's the thing though the thing that's been most lazy about anything marvel is going like, Marvel. Well, it didn't make sense. Let's just use TVA. Yeah. Or like, oh, this didn't make sense. Let's just this is a multiverse. I mean, honestly, at this the point, if they don't like the a movie, they should just be like, this is a multiverse yeah. movie, and then just remake it. Yeah. So, it, it, that's it what totally, they should do for ha- Star ha- Wars. <laughs> or just reboot it and next say it's like, well, see, you, you can't complain. It's a new thing, so we're not falling off of George Lucas. Oh gosh. I mean, like that's I would I. You, you keep, that will get rid of a lot of the haters, I guess. I don't know. Now, haters. Yeah. There's just, I don't know, there's so 
many different things that they could do in this. And I like any the time. I think the music that they choose for the trailer works. I never thought that they, they that oh, what's the song called? Oh, I forget the name of the song, but I never thought that they that you're asking they, the wrong person. I'm yeah, I, I I didn't think that that song could work in a dark tone type of way, and I actually kind of liked it. But I wish it was for. I wish they they took it for a better movie because I already know this is this movie isn't going to be the greatest. So it's, it's kind of just sucks. And so, man, Austin, remind me never to make a movie and invite you. You're going to eviscerate it. No, that's why I have not been invited to anything Disney related. So, uh, uh, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Which actually, this next topic is Disney related. And oh, okay. actually, could be good. Well, let us it know. It could be good. Well, let us know in the comment section below about Venom 3. Are you excited? Are you not? I don't know. I, I'm sick and tired of the Sony verse. And I think that Sony even is sick and tired of their Sony verse, which, at the, by the way, go check out our Madam Web commentary that I just did with Cliff that came out uh, this Saturday. Oh at, the, at the time of recording this, it hasn't gone up, uh, but it will but it will be up. Um, so go check out that commentary. We ripped the shred we ripped that film to shreds so it was a, i'm excited was a to go time. watch it go watch it yet okay thank you guys for watching this video if you want to see the full-on podcast i'll leave a link in the description below and you guys can also check us out on spotify and apple Podcasts. and uh, if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and if you guys want to i want to hear your guys' thoughts on the topics as well so leave a comment on it and um if you guys are new to the channel and you guys enjoyed what you saw hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of other stuff on the channel as a reminder this is a up monthly upload on the big talk with austin and this will also give you guys the opportunity to submit some topics to us that happen throughout the month so if you guys want to do that go check me out on twitter and follow me there tag me whenever something interesting pops up that is movie uh, movie reviews movie tv shows any like pop culture related type of stuff um anyway guys thanks for watching like always i'll see you guys next review bye guys